It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. Good evening. Thank you. Good, e good evening, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost. Well, it is our last weekend update, and I have to say, I think that the country is in a better place than when we started this season. I think. In September, there were headlines like, will the president destroy democracy? And now I'm seeing headlines like, will this be the most turnt-ass summer ever? And who can forget that time when the president tried to murder Congress? Apparently, Congress can since the Senate is likely to block a bipartisan investigation into the Capitol riots thanks to opposition from Mitch McConnell seen here at the demolition of a children's hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Republicans just want to forget the riots ever happened and focus on the future of their party. And the future of their party is, of course, yikes. <laughs> It was reported that federal authorities investigating the sex trafficking accusations against Matt Gates have secured the cooperation of his ex-girlfriend, but not until after her prom. <laughs> In the wake of the ceasefire agreement between Israel and Hamas, insiders praise President Biden's light touch when dealing with Benjamin Netanyahu. But in fairness, everything Biden does involves some kind of touch. <laughs> Andrew Giuliani, who is the child of Rudy Giuliani and, I'm going to say, Gary Busey? <laughs> announced that he's running for governor of New York and claimed he spent five decades in politics despite the fact he's only 35 years old. <laughs> you know, I didn't know you could get brain damage when your father drinks during a pregnancy. <laughs> President Biden test drove the new all-electric F-150 pickup truck at a plant in Michigan. And you're probably thinking, ha ha, he's old. I bet he drives slow. Well, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Joe. I'm not going to lie. That made me think we were about to have our first female president. <laughs> I mean, the last time a guy his age drove that fast, he traveled into the future. This week, New York City lifted many of its restrictions with restaurants and salons able to return to 100% capacity. While New York State, yeah, that's great. New York State nursing homes will remain at 900%. <laughs> New York City gyms will also return to full capacity, though they still recommend social distancing from that old guy powdering his balls. <laughs> It was announced that North Korea has banned its citizens from having mullets or wearing skinny jeans in yet another attempt to cancel Morgan Wallen. The White House announced that several dating apps, including Tinder, OkCupid, and Hinge, are launching a new feature that will let people show their vaccination status. But you can't believe everything you see on a dating app. I mean, my Tinder profile says I'm a white architect named Craig. 